Good Monday morning to you. Hello, hello. I hope you had a pleasant weekend, whether you were doing a little bit of decluttering or doing some kick, kicking back, not kick back, kicking back, or uh, a little bit of both, and maybe some housework and all of those things you didn't get done through the, through the week. Yeah, I know. I know. Trust me on this. Ah, no matter what, I hope that you were you. It was pleasant, and that you arrive on Monday reasonably refreshed. You'll get through today. Don't you be worried. Who am I? I'm Kitty Anders with DeclutterTheBrain.com. Proud to be your thought organizer. Uh, and yeah, welcome to the week. What do I do? I help six-figure entrepreneurs and those very well on their way to there. Uh, to organize their space, streamline their thoughts so that they can focus on being profitably productive. Because mm -hmm. nothing feels better at the end of the day than knowing that you got the right things done. And all of us, even myself, you know, we'll have those days where, yeah, we kind of drifted a little bit, but as long as you pull it back and it, get most of the right things done, okay? It's progress over perfection here at Declutter the Brain. Now, speaking of progress over over perfection, our there is a tie-in here. Our topic this week is Right Sizing 101. Now, uh, as we age, we are getting, we are progressing towards perfection, or at least we hope we are. Have you, uh, now, if you're new to this, to me in this series, then this is going to be new material for you. If you, uh, if you are a veteran with me, if you've been with me for a while, then you'll know that this is a repeat. And why is that? I run this, this particular series twice a year. Uh, it's right sizing and down, down in, in real estate, there are two. There tend to be two prime uh, times uh, for for real estate and sales, and that happens to be in April and around about April, May, and September, October. And that is why I run this th uh, twice twice a year. Uh, now, whether you're 21 or 61, this will become clear, whether you're 21 or 61, moving is always a drag, isn't it? Now, when you're faced with a basement full of 30 years worth of stuff, it can be that much more daunting, can't it? So, uh, and if you will be helping your parents or yourself, uh, to be right-sizing to a more manageable home. This week, we are looking at simple strategies to smooth the move, to make it a little bit easier. And I just moved myself, actually, I upsized. Uh, and yeah, most, most people are, are downsizing, <laughs> I upsized. But uh, what I do encourage you to do, uh, before we even get into the week's content, is don't try to do it yourself. In the name of all that's holy, I know you're an overachiever and you got it all down pat, but use every trick, everything that we that we talk about here this week, and don't try to do it yourself. Reach out for help before you realize that you're totally in over your head, okay? All right, now today, we. Uh, it is written. All right, start making your to-do lists and phone numbers in one central book. Uh, the, uh, some of the following tips, I, I, I actually I did all of the following tips, but, um, but this one, one uh, tip was my handiest. And that was, again, to start making your to-do lists and phone numbers all in one central location, especially if you're helping your parents. Why? Because uh, if there's more than one of you helping, then maybe you and your siblings, okay, you need to have one central location where you know that you can find the lawyer's number, the plumber's number, the realtor's number, any uh, the, the new apartment, whatever it is. You need to be able to have that in one location so that everybody can find it. Makes it a whole lot easier. Uh, and set a target date and move uh, and work backwards from that target date. So say for example, you haven't even gotten the new place yet, but 
You have a rough idea? Okay, well, uh, what's before then? All right, contact the, the new place and, and get a move-in date, what have you. Uh, just make sure that you start writing everything down. Very, very important. Tomorrow I'm going to show you a list that uh, that I did up to help my father move a couple of, uh, few years ago. And uh, I found that it was helpful for me too. So I look forward to showing you that tomorrow when our topic will be, what is our topic tomorrow? Timing is everything. Uh, in the interim, we will um, yeah, have yourself a pleasant day. Don't forget, if you haven't already, download your seven easy steps to conquer your physical and mental clutter. And we will talk to your smiling faces tomorrow. Have a great day, everybody. Bye for now. Okay, well, uh, I guess the remote doesn't want to work today. Cheers.